Welcome. In today's video, we're going to walk through creating a database backup on Video Expert Enterprise. So let's jump right into creating the backup. First thing we want to do is go to the IP address of our CMG. We're going to pull up Firefox here, and in our example, the IP address is 192.168.5.10. We'll then log in using admin credentials. Once we're logged in via admin portal, we want to verify some settings before we begin the backup process. The first thing we want to do is verify the users enroll. We can do this by clicking on the users tab and from the users tab selecting the roles. Next we want to confirm devices. We want to make sure all devices we want backed up are commissioned and have a green check mark next to them. Once we've confirmed both the users and their roles as well as the devices we want to head to the config tab and then click on backup. Once here now we need to specify the network location and credentials so we can store our backups. If we already have a folder selected, that information can be entered there. Now, if we do not have a network location already set up, we can create one. To do that, we're going to go into Windows Explorer. We'll select one of our drives, right click, select New and Folder, give the folder a name. This is the name that we're going to need to specify in Admin Portal. Now, once we've named the folder, we want to right click on it. When we right click, we're going to go ahead and select properties. From properties, we're going to select sharing. From sharing, we're going to click the share. Once we click share, we're going to click share again, and this is going to share out the folder. You can see that the path we need to input into Video Experts Admin Portal is available directly under the folder name. On our system here, we can see our host name is OPS1. Now, to verify the host name, we want to go into Start. From Start, we're going to go and right click on Computer and Properties, and here we can see our computer host name. We want to confirm that before inputting that information into Admin Portal. With our host name now confirmed, we can head over to Admin Portal and input our network path. Next, we're going to put in our username and our password. Once that's done, we're going to click Save Configuration and then click Backup Now. The backup can take up to several hours. This depends on the size of the database, network performance, and other values. In our example, this is a fresh database. It's very small, so it will finish in less than 10 minutes. The backup is now complete. We can see that it has been successfully saved. We can also choose to delete it if we want. Now in order to verify this, we can go over to Windows Explorer, select our drive, open our folder, and we can see now our backup is present. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.